Questions 92 to 94. So, talks about hydroxy, different carbon atoms. It's, mm, two hydroxy groups on the same atom is unstable. Uh, a loss of water from the two groups results in the formation of a carbonyl group. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. And then carrying on, molecules that have a different arrangement of the same atoms are called constitutional isomers. Hopefully you know that. And uh, constitutional or, or structural isomers is the same thing. You know, they have a different order and or kinds of bonds would be a more precise uh, definition to give because uh, as opposed to stereoisomers, which, uh, which differ in terms of their three-dimensional uh, arrangements. Okay, so what compound is the unstable 2-dihydroxypentane? So pentane is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. That's how you draw it on the exam. You wouldn't put any hydrogens. Or, or, you know, you can do this structural model like this, of course. You can do it that way if you prefer. And then um, and we have dihydroxy. Okay, so, and it's 3,3. Three. So on a third carbon, we have two OHs. Now, in the passage says that two hyd hydroxy groups on the same atom is unstable, and you get a loss of water from the two groups, and it results in the formation of a carbonyl group. So I'm going to redraw this same thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And instead of these, I put a carbonyl group um, because this is unstable. And we lost water. We lost OH and the hydrogen gone. That makes H2O. And uh, we're left with a carbonyl uh, group. So we just need to name this. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's pent. And um, it's a ketone uh, because the, the functional uh, group of a ketone is this. Uh, so it ends in own, so it's pentanone. Then we have to say where the functional group is. It's on the third carbon, so this is called 3-pentanone. Okay, so uh, we look at... And, and by the way, um, this happened by elimination. We eliminated these atoms from the original compound, creating a double bond, and so that's called elimination and because it happened because of an internal rearrangement of this one molecule this was the rate determining step rds the rate determining step so it only happened with one so this would be called a e1 or elimination first order reaction so uh question 93 consider the alkyl diols and uh, dichloroalkanes okay Compared with the number of constitutional isomers of the diols, diols means two alcohol groups, two OH groups on the compound. Um, the number of constitutional isomers of dichloroalkanes is... Okay, so we need to um, take a little look here. So uh, we'll, we'll look at some diols. We'll start with the smallest diols we can. So... Um, there's OH, well, this is not the smallest we can, but uh, we'll start with some small ones. So, there we go. So these are different constitutional isomers. Because I moved the OH group um, over onto the other side, we can see these are two different molecules. Uh, of course, if I try to uh, put uh, the OH group over here like that, these diols, two alcohol groups, this is identical to this one because it's just taking it and flipping it on the other side. So this is not a constitutional isomer. These are constitutional. In fact, these are called positional isomers because we just changed the position of a functional group. Okay, so that's fine. Um, we cannot try putting OH groups on the same carbon because we've already been taught that's unstable. It's not going to happen. So when I look at having three carbons, what is there any additional um, uh, uh, isomers you can get with dichloro compounds? Well, if you had dichloro compounds, you could put a chlorine here and a chlorine here. Now that's something you cannot do with the OH groups. And you can also do a chlorine here and a chlorine here which is something you can't do over there. We're not gonna try putting two chlorines at the end because that's the same as this molecule over here. So certainly if you have three carbons, 
you're able to double the amount. So uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, so we have to just try a, a, another one. So we'll try um, with four carbons. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and we uh, try some diols first. Here's an OH group, here's an OH group. We'll try it again. Uh, one, two, three, four. We put an OH group over here, move this position down to over here. And uh, then we try one more, one, two, three, four. We put an OH group here and an OH group here. Well, if we had chlorine, we can do all of these, no problem. But let's see what additional ones chlorine can do. So uh, for one, we know that uh, we can put chlorine here, chlorine there. Then another one would be um, chlorine here and chlorine here. Now if we do that over on this carbon, it's the same as this one. And if we try to put two chlorines at the other end, it's the same as this one. So um, before we were able to double it, but now we are not able to double it. We're only able to create five different isomers for the dichloral compound and three for the diol compound. So um, it's, it's, it's greater than, <laughs> but uh, not exactly twice as much. So the best answer would be C. 93 is C. Um, 94 asks, um, how many stable constitutional isomers are there for the pentane diol? Pentane diol. So oh boy, so they want us to continue this. So um, moving on to pentane diol, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and we put an OH group here at the end. And uh, then I know I can put an OH group here, that would be one, and I can put an OH group there, that would be a different one, and I can put an OH group here, that would be a third one, and then I can try an OH group there, and that would be a four. So there are four different isomers that I can try um, just with maintaining one OH group at the end and then changing the second OH group to those positions for different isomers. So now I'll try... Uh, moving that OH group from there to here, to this position, then I can try uh, an OH group there, that would be one, and an OH group there. I cannot try an OH group here because that's already described in one of these. And I cannot put an OH group here because that's already described in this one. So I have one, two more to add. So that's uh, a total of six. So 94, the answer is B, which is six. And if you want to do some more review for um, um, stereochemistry, uh, you can go here in the book. <laughs>